There we go. Oh, little <coughs> tiger. Um, but it was interesting. We'd had uh, quite a few casts with one nymph, and uh, there wasn't really much happening. So what we've done, we've uh, got another nymph tied on there as well, which just gives gives that extra little uh, bit of depth, and that's what it took. Now it was an area there that we were hoping was going to be a fish. I'll just get this fish in the net first. Nice little net from McLean's. Uh, just it's a flip out net, and just get him in there, and we can. Uh, keep him in the water. So that's an ideal little fish for a small little river up here in northeast Victoria. Um, but it is quite cold. So what generally happens, you'll find an area like that, and there may be a couple of fish there, but they're not going to move very far. So it requires often quite a few casts in that same area for that fish to see it. They won't move a long way to see it and eat it. And depth is the major thing. So what it took, we fished like quite a few areas there without much success. And then we put on another nymph. And that's two nymphs to get it right down. One heavy one to get down and a smaller one for it to take. And it's worked on this fish. You know, he's not one that we're going to mount, but uh, still a great fish all just the same. And then... So just wet hands. Lovely little fish. He's a, a brown. And you can see why those lovely red spots in there. Just a stunning little fish. Hang on, mate. I'll let you go in a second. But uh, they're just a beautiful little fish. This river will get fish... I guess two pound would be an excellent fish. A lot you're gonna get like around this size, about half a pound, but they're in stunning condition. Just lovely little wild brown trout. Uh, and it's very important. I mean, sure you could uh, perhaps put him on the fry pan, but I think as fly fishers, we've got to do the right thing and look after that and hold him upstream until he's ready to uh, swim away. And then someone else can catch him when they come down here too, and he might even be a bit bigger. Good to go. Perfect. So that's ideal. Uh, a good start. And that's sometimes it's not always easy, particularly early in the season where you do have to work a bit harder and uh, you might cover a lot more water. In the summer, it gets a bit easier if they're taking grasshoppers, they're rising, and they will move a lot further to eat your fly as well. So uh, just take your time early in the season, put as many casts in areas that you think are going to hold fish and you'll be surprised what you can get on the end of that fly rod.